Welcome to the ministry broadcast of No Compromise under the auspices of Word of Truth Christian Ministries International in Columbia, South Carolina. Today's topic is arrested development, an abnormal state in which development has stopped prematurely. It's abnormal. During this time of uncertainty and unrest, many people from all walks of life are coming out and making their voices heard. From Black Lives Matter, to the coronavirus pandemic, to which laws should be put in places against or for police brutality, we're hearing conflicting information all across the media outlets. I mean, voices are rising up from the four corners of the earth. But why is it that the loudest voice we're not hearing is the church? Now, don't get me wrong. There are several churches speaking out and standing strong. But for the Christian faith to be the second largest religious group in the world, our voices should be very well the loudest. It's a scary time. And yes, a lot is going on. But so was the same in the days of the apostles. In the book of Acts chapter 12, when Herod went to war against the church, he killed the apostle James, the brother of John, and he arrested Peter just for fun. You see, the church then, the churches were terrified. And they were hiding behind this gated area to the extent that when Peter was arrested, they were praying for Peter's life and Peter was praying for his life. They were praying so much so that when God sent an angel into that jailhouse to set Peter free, Peter knocked on the door and they didn't even recognize that it was Peter. So what does all this mean? It means that we cannot be like those saints in the book of Acts chapter 12. See, they were praying, but they didn't recognize when God was moving on behalf of their prayers. It also means that we cannot be as the prophet Elijah was in 1 Kings chapter 19, when Jezebel threatened his life and he ran and hid in the cave. See, God called on Elijah and he asked him, he said, what are you doing? Remember that story? You see, beloved, both of these situations occurred after a great move of God. Remember Elijah, he challenged the 400 false prophets of Jezebel. And then remember Peter, uh, he preached that great message and more than 3,000 were saved that very same day. See, it was a mighty move of God. Anytime God is moving, or getting ready to move, or has moved, Satan will always come and try to intimidate or upset the move in some manner. Right now, today, we've got protesters from all walks of life, multicultural protesters. And we've got people that are coming against them. We've got people who are just outright lying on them, saying that they're being rowdy, saying that they're being destructive, saying that they're doing this or doing that, when they were peacefully protesting. And we see it on camera, live TV. Yes, it's a time that's very, very scary. But we cannot allow ourselves or the church as a whole to become a state of arrested development. We must stand strong and boldly as our Savior did in the face of adversity. We've got to speak out. We've got to cry aloud and spare not. I pray you were encouraged. Until the next time. Shalom.